Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you how to texture Marvel Rivals 3D model in Blender. So we will texture Iron Man first because texturing Iron Man is really easy. So first of all, we need to extract Iron Man 3D model. If you don't know how to extract 3D model with the help of F model, I have already made a tutorial on it. You can watch it here. Okay. So let's try to open our F model and extract Iron Man. So as you guys can see, we have already opened our F model and 1034 is the coded name for Iron Man. So in 1034 folder, press this drop down and again the first one press the drop down. We will first uh, texture the basic skin, the default one. Okay. So again, go to this message option, double click on it and then we will texture this one because the lobby one is a bit heavier and it requires a, a lot of material. So first we will texture basic one, then we will copy the same material to the lobby asset. Okay. So first let's start texturing the basic one. So just double click on it to confirm that it is Iron Man or not. Okay. So we can confirm that it is Iron Man by previewing it. So we need to export this model and I have already made a tutorial on how to export this model. So just right click here and press on save model. If you don't know how to set up F model and other thing, you can just watch my previous tutorial. I have told everything with complete uh, beginner guide. So as you guys can see that our model has been exported here. So just click on it. It will tell us of the location of the model. Just copy this location path. Press Ctrl plus C to copy and then go to Blender. And for now I am using Blender 4.0. I recommend you use Blender 4.0 or older version. Do not use the latest version because it is little bit complicated in terms of texturing. Okay. So first of all, let's clear everything and import our model in Blender. So for importing, click on this file, then click on this import button and then click on this PSK button. Okay. So just click on this PSK and paste the same location. And we don't need to import lobby one now. We need to just import the default one. So just select it and press import PSK. Okay. And you can see that our Iron Man has been imported in our Blender. And you can see there are huge number of bones here. First of all, we need to disable these bones because it is very distracting when you are texturing the model. For disabling the bones, you can see here is a semicircle. And uh, beside this semicircle, there is a drop down option. Just click on this and you can see in bones section, it is checked. Just uncheck this bones section. Okay. So if you uncheck this, you can see all the bones are hidden. Okay. So now select your model and then go to this data properties and then click on normal and turn off auto smooth. Okay. So how do we texture our models in Blender? So you can see we have the mesh of Iron Man. For texturing it, just select it. You can just click on it once to select it and go to the shading tab. By default, we are in layout tab, but we need to go to shading tab. So just click here and just zoom in on it. And you can see here also the bones are enabled. So we need to disable those bones. So just click on this drop down and then uncheck this bones option. So bones are disabled. Now, if you click on this material properties here, here material, so just click on this material properties and all the material that are used here are available. You can see add material, equip material, body material, equip to material, all are used. And by default, these colors are white. That's why our Iron Man is white. We need to apply textures in these materials to make our Iron Man look like Iron Man. So for applying texture in any of these material, you need to first select any material here. And for default, I will select the head material and then click on this use node and you can see you get a default shader here you can play with this shader you can change the color of this material you can decrease or increase the roughness you can increase the metallic value but this is not looking good because we are not using the game texture that the developer has designed okay so for getting those texture you again need to use f model okay so now i am going to tell you where to find textures in f model and how to export them so as you guys can see, we have already opened our F model and click on this folder option. And here you can see there is a textures option available here. Okay. And it is containing 37 texture, 37, yeah, 37 texture. So just right click on it and uh, click on save folders packages textures. Okay. And just click on it and wait for some time. It will uh, export every 37 textures and report it to you. Okay. So wait for some time. It will take uh, some time for low end PC and for high end PC, it will take 20, 30 seconds. Okay. So you can see in my PC, it has been exported and the location is here. So just click on it. Okay. And double click on this export. Click on Marvel, then go to content, then go to Marvel, then go to character. And we were using 10344 Ironman. Just double click on it. And then 10340101. 
double click on it and then go to texture you can see that all the textures are exported here so just copy this path location press ctrl plus c ok and open your blender and here in seeding tab you can see there is a file location given so just click on it and paste your original file location just press ctrl plus v and press enter you can see all the textures are opened here ok if i click on this icon it will uh, be done in list view ok so here you can see there are body texture equip textures and then uh, equip 5 equip sip ice texture head texture and all other textures are available here so for now we are texturing the head 01 ok you can see here the name has given head 01 and there are several textures so first we need to search for head h e a d and then you can see there are two different texture head 02 and head 01 since we are texturing head 01 so we will use all the materials of head 01 so you can see there are several uh, different texture like one is D, other one is E, this one is N and this one is ORM so D always means diffuse or color texture ok so diffuse actually provides the basic color to your 3D model so just click on this texture and drag and drop it here ok now you can see there is a color option here just click on this color option and connect it to base color ok so you can see now our Iron Man is looking like Iron Man so diffuse color actually provide the color of color to your 3D model ok and for other three texture you can see we can't use this in principal bhdf because it will get quite complicated for beginner people so i have got a new shader on discord which was available uh, free in discord of f model okay so i will give you that uh, shader in uh, description you can download it from here so just delete this principal bhdf and make sure you only delete this principal DF, bhdf do not this delete this material output otherwise it will be very difficult to get this so just Ctrl plus Z, I will press Ctrl plus Z. Do not delete this one, only delete the middle shader. Okay. So now click on file, click on append, and I will give you this uh, uh, file uh, in uh, description. You can download from there. It, its name is Marvel Rivals Shader 0.11. Okay. So just double click on this and then click on node tree and then click on this and press append. Okay. Now press in, in here, press shift plus A, then click on group and then click on this marvel rival shader 0.1.2 okay now link this bhdf to this surface okay so now connect your all the textures here okay so first of all we need to connect diffuse diffuse basically goes to diffuse so just connect to diffuse okay and now we have emission texture but e means emission but we will uh, connect it later we will first connect the normal texture okay so just bring it here and normal should be always in non color so change it to from srgb to non color and then connect this normal to normal if you can't understand it just increase the size of it uh, size of this shader now you can understand this and now we need to link the orm texture so just bring this texture and orm must also be in non color by default it is srgb but we need to make it to non color and then link this color to orm option okay you can see we have linked our orm now we need to add our specular texture ok so just bring this and then change it to again change it to non color Spe specular must also be in non color and then link this color to specular ok now you can see our uh, iron man is looking like iron man and now we need to add the emission texture this E1 this E is basically emission because eyes must be glowing of iron man ok so just bring this texture and do not make it non color it must be srgv because if you make it non-color, the glow will be white. We need blue color glow. Okay, so just connect this color to emission color option. Emission option. Okay, so just link this to emission and increase the strength. So you can see it is glowing, but we can't see the glow effect here. So for viewing the glow effect, click on this render settings. Just click on this render setting and make sure the bloom has been turned on. So turned on this bloom. Now you can see Iron Man eyes are glowing. So that's how you texture Iron Man. You can control the strength here to make it look perfect means more bloom and you can make it to zero to reduce the bloom. As you can see guys, we have textured the head. Now we'll texture this Iron Man body. Okay, so here you can see there is a body option, body material. Just click on this and you can, by the way, you can change the material from here also. You don't need to go here. You can just click on this drop down menu of slot and then you can see there are all the materials that are available here so we have already texture head now we will texture the body okay so first click on this use node delete this shader do not delete this delete this shader and then press shift plus a and then go to group and then use this marvel rival shader connect bhdf to surface and here search for 
body okay now we will use the same thing body diffuse must be connected to diffuse and then emission will connect it later first connect normal to normal normal is used for providing details 3d details to your model and then use ORM ORM controls roughness and metallic okay so press o ORM to make material more metallic look like metal a specular con controls the shininess just change it to non color and link it to specular and then we will link the emission for bloom okay so just link this emission to emission and you can control the strength okay so you can see we have textured his body now we will start texturing this equip thing so let's start with equip 01 okay so just delete this principal PHDF and then search for this marvel rivals and then here you can search for equip lip underscore 01 because we are texturing equip 01 we don't need any other material so just connect this diffuse to this diffuse so you can texture every model here uh, from equip 1 to equip 6 just texture every material and there are some material that are not available here i will tell you how to find those material so as you guys can see that we have textured the iron man and what texture we can't find in it we have textured from equip 1 to equip 6 but we can't find the textures of equip 05 because if you search eqip underscore 05 you can see there are no textures and also this energy beam emitter has no textures here and also the floating gun weapon has no texture if you search floating gun you can see nothing is here okay so how do we find this texture okay so the first thing you can do is if you don't want to texture them because they are additional thing you can see it, it is attached to uh, uh, iron man's hand and it, these are additional things so you can just basically hide those things okay so how do we do that so you can see there is a floating gun weapon we are just select this material and press on use note and just turn alpha down okay by default you can see it has turned completely black just select this node principal df go to the material setting go to the down one and change the blend mode you can see in setting here if you click on this setting you can see there is a blend mode option here just click it change it to alpha hashed you can see that it has gone okay and similarly we will do this for floating uh, energy beam emitter you can click on here slot 9 you can change it to this slot 10 this is the energy beam emitter select use node turn the alpha to 0 and then change the blend mode in material setting change the blend mode to alpha hashed you can see that iron man has been textured and if you are searching for equip 05 and i think it's basically arc reactor this arc reactor and you don't need any texture in an actual film it it was in shiny blue thing so you can just use this principal bhdf you don't need that shader just use this uh, uh, search principal, principal bhdf connect it to it change its color to i think blue and then use a emission in go to the emission drop down change the emission color to also blue and turn this strength okay so you can see that equip 5 the arc reactor thing is glowing now in blue color and this is how you texture iron man but if you want to actually texture those weapons also you need to do a bit of hard work okay so how do you search those materials okay so again we need to now go to f model so you guys can see we have opened our f model now you can see here in the iron man uh, folder there is also an option for weapons okay so just click on this drop down menu and here you can see those two weapons are here the folder of those two weapons are here so first we will try to uh, texture the energy beam emitter so just press drop down here and then you you can see here those textures are there just right click here and then press on save folders package textures okay it will take some time and it will export those textures okay so just click here on the last one and go to that folder where the textures are saved so in marvel in characters 1034 for uh, iron man click here 1034 and then go to weapon then go to energy beam emitter okay then go to texture and copy this file location and then go to blender and here again here paste those location you can see all the weapon textures uh, energy beam emitter textures are available here okay so now again click on this material settings and then go to energy beam emitter and by default we have used principal df to hide those material but now we need to delete this material bring the marvel rivals shader connect bhdf to this and then we will start connecting the diffuse to again diffuse okay now the emission shader uh, emission material to emission and turn on the bloom the emission strength and then normal map 
again to normal make sure the normal is in non color and then ORM it, is, it must also be in non color ORM to ORM and then connect specular it must also be in non color so you can see we have connected specular now our an iron man has been attached to energy beam meter now we need to texture the another uh, that uh, weapon he is carrying the another weapon is floating gun weapon okay so first of all delete this principal bhdf and add a uh, group marble rival shader and we have not exported this uh, mesh texture so first we need to export that so here just uh, close this energy beam meter and then click on this floating gun drop down and then go to texture and okay right click here and then save folder package textures okay and wait for some time well, so you can see it has been exported so we can open those textures from here also you can see the floating gun weapon option is here floating gun then go to texture all the textures are here but here you can find there are three different weapons weapon 01 weapon 02 and then weapon 03 but currently floating gun weapon 02 the, with the material we are texturing its name is floating gun weapon 02 so we will use the materials of weapon 02 okay so bring this weapon 02 diffuse to uh, color uh, again connect this node to node here and then connect the emission material here just connect this emission to emission increase the strength not emission color the emission okay increase the strength to your liking and connect the normal map make sure normal map must be non color and then you can connect this ORM map Hello. ORM ORM must also be non-color we have connected the ORM now we need to connect the specular okay so connect this specular Hello. specular option okay now we have completely textured our iron man and if you want to change some different looks here you can just go to layout tab and if you are getting white color iron man here you can just turn on this material preview and your iron man will be off texture and if you want to disable bone i have already told that you can disable bones here suppose if you want to add more contrast to this look you can just go to render setting okay here you can see this is the option for render settings and in color management here you can find color management just click on look and then you can try high contrast you can see now iron man looks bit good and if you are finding that uh, this doesn't suit your looks you can also use the change the view transform by default it is AGX I'll go to standard you can go see the standard doesn't look that good but the filmic the best look you will get with is filmic change this to filmic and turn this to very high contrast now you can see the iron man bloom is now in blue color the iron man metal is now looking in red color and everything seems amazing you can turn on the bones and you can start animating your model okay so this is how you texture in blender okay and in future i will try to make some bring some more texturing videos of different character of marvel rival which are hard to texture okay and also in future i will make a video on how to animate this model using the in-game animations okay and where to find those animation in app model okay because animating this much bones is a very impossible task okay so i hope you like the video of texturing See you in next video guys till then goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel finding out